Cardinals have the next pick, and they are now on the clock. And not long after that, New Trier's Charlie Tilson fulfilled a lifelong dream of becoming a major leaguer. It's something I've thought about since I was outside playing wiffle ball in my friend's front yard. And, I mean, it's been a cool day. And it was a day that transformed those in the Tilson household into Cardinals fans, as the speedy center fielder was taken by St. Louis with the 79th overall pick. You know, it's a dream come true. So, I mean, I had, I had butterflies here in my name. Yeah, so it was great. It was surreal. It was almost like an out-of-body experience to, to see your kid's name up on the board. And for Tilson, it was a high-profile senior year that paid off, as every game featured a slew of scouts in the bleachers, carefully watching everything that number four did. There were times when I felt stressed out for him because, you know, whenever he'd get up to bat, there were, you know, 15 stopwatches out there timing him from home plate to first base. I think when you have people watching you consistently like that, it makes you focus a little bit more on, uh, you know, each and every little thing, and it kind of keeps you on your toes, so I think it made me a little better. The numbers would suggest Tilson was correct. With the pressure on, he batted over 400 and stole 28 bases as a senior. His speed, defense, and smooth swing at the plate have scouts comparing him to the likes of Jacoby Ellsbury and Brett Gardner, two guys that Tilson admires. It's awesome, you know, and I, it, it excites me, and I really look forward to, you know, my future. And they are guys that I would model my game after, but, you know, we'll see if I get to that level. And before we start projecting Tilson's ability at the major league level, it's important to note that he hasn't signed with the Cardinals just yet. He has committed to play at the University of Illinois and still has that option to do so if the cards don't offer exactly what the Tilsons are looking for. You know, we'll take it one step at a time. Right now, you know, we're far from making a deal. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a lot of negotiating throughout the summer, but, you know, we'll see where I end up. It'll be exciting. I'll be happy either way. Being playing for an organization that's been had a lot of recent success would be, I'm sure, a great experience for him, not to mention having that college experience, but this is also an unbelievable opportunity for him to jumpstart his professional baseball career with in an organization that really takes player development seriously. I think it, it's been interesting in the community because everybody that you talk to has had a different opinion about what he should do. You hear, uh, you know, like, take the money and run. It's almost like the song, you know, you hear it, hear it from a lot of people, but they, I mean, they're just poking fun. They know it's, uh, you know, they know that, you know, I've had a lot of meetings and it's, it's, it's just as much of a business as it is a game. But before any of the business can be taken care of, maybe the most important question in all of this is, can Charlie turn Mom Margaret from Cubs fan to Cardinals fan? I grew up being a Cubs fan, but I've been surrounded by Sox fans in this house from the time my kids were this big. So, yeah, I'm fine with it. <laughs> um, you know, I'd hate to lose any fans in Chicago over this, but, you know, I have been a White Sox, my, White Sox fan my whole life, and... Uh, you know, I can't say I'm disappointed at all to be, be a Cardinal. In Wilmette, I'm Nate Doherty for Patch.